master teacher of chemistry at Vedantu. Okay. First thing, thank you so much for all the love you guys have been giving to me and the channel. And second thing, I would like to apologize for the delay in the yesterday's session because of the technical issues. Okay. So, if you remember, in yesterday's session, I had promised you guys that I will be taking the names of the students who have commented the right answer for the puzzle. Right? Yes. So, I can't take everyone's name, but thank you so much for all the comments. I promise I have gone through every, each and every comment. But the top students' names are the Game Changers, Mahadevi, Sanvartaka and Amit Sharma. Thank you so much and congratulations. Okay. So, what will we be doing today? Are you guys curious to know what this session is going to be? Okay, let me tell you, we are in the lockdown, right? Not able to go out, play with friends, stuck at home, but you want, you want to try something new? So, I have uh, seen students, you know, they send me these pictures of uh, Oreo cake or the pizza they have been preparing. Then I thought, why don't I make or teach you some experiments which can be tried at home using the ingredients which is available in your kitchen. Sounds exciting, no? If you are excited, please let me know in the comment section. Yes. Yes, ma'am, you are excited or no? Yeah, but I would want to hear yes from everyone. Okay then, you heard it right, five experiments that can be done in your house with the ingredients available in the kitchen. Okay, okay, are you all ready for the experiments? This experiment is called the walking water. Water can walk? Yes. And I'll show you how and why also. Okay, so for this experiment, the materials you would require is... Transparent glasses, food colors, and kitchen towel. Okay, as you can see here, I have taken equal amount of water in three different glasses and I've added different food colors. Okay, so you can add whichever food color you have at your home. Okay, then what I'll be doing is keep the two empty glasses between these. Done? Okay, now what we have to do Take the kitchen towel or tissue and just fold it in this way. So, in this way, just I have prepared four folded tissue. Okay, you need four. Now, what you have to do is carefully just put this inside. And then one more to go. And another one, the last one. So for this uh, complete process, we would require around two to three hours. Let's see, you can see the colors, the water has been absorbed by the tissues. You can see, right? It looks so nice, but wait until the end, you will be like odd. Okay, see this is how our working water experiment looks after an hour. So I had kept it aside for an hour and you can see the result. These two glasses were empty right before. Now you can see different colored water. And why? Why do you think this is happening and what is happening here? If you know, I guess you are all aware about the different forces. So there will be cohesive force between the water molecules and adhesive force between the paper towel and the water molecules but what happens here the adhesive force dominates over the cohesive force and that is the reason the water is walking so did you enjoy this experiment let me know okay so you can see the letters now right so what exactly is happening in this experiment let me tell you so everyone knows that the lemon contains citric acid right so, when I am taking out the lemon juice and when I am writing on it, what happens? The water gets vaporized or it gets dry, but the citric acid will get stuck onto the paper and it will destroy the paper. Only the part where it is there. Okay? Then what happens? When I 
provide the heat energy ex externally. So, this portion where I've used the citric acid or the lemon juice to write, it gets burnt first or before the other part of the paper. And this is how you can see the letters. Sounds fun? So, you can send your secret messages using this experiment. So, do try it out and let me know whether it worked or not. Our next experiment is called water rainbow. I know we have all seen the rainbow in the sky, right? But water rainbow, first time? Okay, let's do this experiment. For this experiment, you would need a glass, transparent glass, whatever is available, you can take it. And oil, baby oil or coconut oil and the food colors, okay? Now what I'll do, I will add the oil into the As you all know, water and oil are immiscible with each other, right? They don't get mixed at all. Now, see the fun. You can take the food color if it's liquid, then also fine. Solid be time or the powdered one. Okay, I'm adding the food color. You can use the food colors which is available. So can you see the particles are going down and it looks so nice. So if you want it to be fast, you have to add more water color. It looks so good, no? Very nice. Yes. If you have other colors, blue or pale green, it will look good, more good. But these were the only colors which was available at my place. Can you see it? This is because you might be wondering what is happening and I'll tell you the chemistry behind it. See, as I've already told you, the oil and water, it is immiscible, right? The food color, which is not soluble in the oil and it is more denser than the oil. So it is settling down at the bottom and this process is making it so pretty and beautiful. So did you guys like it? Will you try it? If you are trying it, please let me know in the comment, se comment section how was it. Did you enjoy it? Yes. But please be careful, okay? Don't spill. Otherwise, you know, right, what your mom will do. Okay, then. See? So, it is still coming down. As I told you, the more um, food colors you add, the faster it will. I know you guys are having fun and our fourth experiment is called inflating a balloon with chemistry. So we know right we always like blow it or we use a pump. But can we inflate a balloon using chemistry? So today I will show you how to do it. For this experiment take a water bottle. Take the smaller one don't go for the one liter or two liter one. And I have filled this with vinegar. Okay it's vinegar. And here I have baking soda. It's a very simple experiment. So what I I'll do now is just fill the baking soda, fill the balloon, <laughs> fill the balloon using the baking soda. That is add the baking soda into the balloon. Okay. Okay. Once it's done, open the cap and just put it on. I guess it will take some time. Okay, I guess it's done. So if it's not tight enough, you can. Now, please make sure that it is closed properly. Try to hold it on. And then the moment the baking soda gets into the thing, you can see. Okay, see the inflation. Oh, yeah. So what is actually happening here? 
Can you all guess? Okay. <laughs> Be very careful. Pause, pause. Yes, look at the balloon now. See, it's inflated, right? Yes. So what actually did you think happened? Of course, it is chemistry and you want to know what exactly happened? See, vinegar is an acid and baking soda. So it has NaHCO3, which is a base. It's a mild base less acid you will get this acid base reaction where carbon dioxide is released and this is the reason why the balloon got inflated fun yes do try it but be very careful okay yeah. okay our last experiment is called bouncy egg eggs can bounce no way right please don't try it watch the full experiment and then go and check whether it can bounce or not. Okay, for this experiment, we need vinegar and egg. That's all. Very easy, no? So I have poured, I have already poured the vinegar into this glass. Now what I'll do is, we just have to put the egg. If you can see, if you can see closely, you can see the bubbles, right? Bubbles, it is carbon dioxide gas. There is reaction going on between the vinegar and the eggshell so eggshell contains what it has calcium carbonate so it is an acid base reaction in which carbon dioxide gas is released but how does it bounce let me tell you but this experiment needs a lot of time so i have already prepared one more egg in the vinegar so this is what i just showed you now and let me tell you, oh, this is really very soft and slippery. See, it, it is very soft. But still, it has to, the reaction is still going on. But you can see, right, the eggshell, it's not hard, it's soft. So I'll just leave it like this for another 4-5 uh, hours. It will be done. But I'll make sure key. I will show you the video how does egg bounce do try it but don't waste a lot of eggs only one okay okay then so that was the five experiments that can be done at home what are you guys waiting for head to the kitchen get the ingredients and start experimenting let me tell you it is really fun i enjoyed it a lot and i hope my students will love it too okay do let me know which is your favorite experiment and did you did you try doing the experiment and how did it turn out to be i am waiting to hear those stories time to say tata bye bye i'll see you guys very soon till then keep loving chemistry elementary chemistry channel and your master teachers ravi bye bye